Hello, and welcome to Minecraft Furniture Channel's NPC Village Makeover. I'm Snugsides, and I'm here with Melman. Hello. Uh, what we're doing is furnishing this NPC village. Um, we're just going to furnish the buildings. We don't really intend to change the structures at all. Yeah, we chose this village from the Seed July. Uh, yeah, it's got a good layout, and we've got a blacksmith there and a church. Yeah. And it's got a couple of stores, the library, um, and a couple of big houses. Yeah, but this one here we actually turned into a bar. We'll put the seed details in the description. Yeah. So we'll have a look at the before shot. There's not much in here. It's, no, it's a nice building. So here's the bar. I'm putting those symbols on the on the chairs. It looks mm. really good. The dartboard there. And a brewing stand on the bar. Adds a bit of clutter. Looks nice yeah, and busy yeah. at the bar. And the rug really ties the room together. And we've got some piston stalls at the bar. We used gates around the top of the bar. Uh, wooden gates. And some pressure plates on the bar. And underneath the bar here, we decided to put in a wine cellar where we actually use stairs for the walls. And there's wooden blocks behind the stairs. Mm. You've got to have a pillar too. There's something brewing there. I don't know what, I don't know what that thing is, really. It looks pretty cool though. Well, it's like a vat. I think that's what they call no, it. No, I don't know what they call it. I've seen one before. Just and recreated it. Through the bee garden. A couple of pieces of furniture here and we'll show you how to make this one. You need a slab floor and some stone brick stairs, you can use any stairs though, and then put your slabs on top. And then make two rows of stairs facing, is it inwards or outwards, what would you call this? Uh, inwards. So they're facing each other. That looks good as a bench, but we can put some signs on to sort of dress it up a bit. Suits the set. Yeah, it's a real good beer garden sort of bench. Yeah, definitely. And uh, that's another design for a barbecue we've got there. And now we're off to the library, which we turned into a bookstore. So let's have a look at the fourth shot. Um, yeah, it's got that we wanted to leave that, that row of books intact. And here we've got the bookstore. We've got a couple of areas to sit for reading, plenty of books, cash register, an abstract bookshelf there with a the door. And the green really uh, sets the mood in this room. It goes with the dark wood. So we'll head off towards the little house at the end of the street. Now this is a before shot, There's, there wasn't a lot of room, uh, not much to work with, so he made it the outhouse. So compact. It's compact design, there's a toilet. I can't believe you got all that stuff in there. <laughs> <laughs> there's the uh, books and a uh, wash basin. And we'll show you how to make this now. Start by uh, making a pit, put the stairs down, and a hatch for the lid, and another hatch for a shelf, and a wooden plank for to complete the pit. And we'll just dress it up with a pressure plate. This will be for the magazine rack, and this is the tap for the wash basin. Fill it with water. I'm not sure if the cauldron will be around for final release, but for now it looks pretty good. I like the support beams you put there. Yeah, so it's a high, it's a structural integrity, yeah, really. Nice. We put the water down the pit earlier. Forgot to, to show you that. And that wraps up this end of town and part one of the NPC Village Makeover. We're going to work our way through the town. So we've got heaps of cool things to show you. Um, check back soon for more. Yeah, see you next time. See you later.